to my channel, it's Andrea, and today I have an extremely overdue update for Fifty Shades of Green. I don't think I've updated in like three months, so there's a bunch of stuff that is rolling out that I can finally get rid of because I'm updating. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab. It was originally started as Fifty Shades of Pink by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece, and then there was purple last year, green this year, and then we have picked a new color for the next round, but it's still a secret. So if you want to know what it is, you have to join the Fantastic Ladies group to find out. But it started April 15th, 2022. It goes to April 15th, 2023, when the new round will start. Monthly updates, if you're anyone other than myself, <laughs> apparently and 50 products that you can correlate to the color green somehow. I have, as of the last time I updated, which I believe was August, I had finished or hit my goal on 11 products and I have quite a few that I've hit my goal on for this update as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through that. The first one that I still was working on was my Red Leaf Home Appleberry Candle, which is empty. Well, it doesn't really smell anymore. I mean, this burned like all the way down. You can see I'm actually gonna try to clean this out and use it for makeup brushes or something because this is a pretty hefty candle. So that one is done. I still have one candle left in this project, but I have not started burning it because it's more, it's more of like a wintry Christmassy scent and I'm not ready to burn Christmassy scents yet. So it's gonna stick around for a little bit longer. The next thing I finished is this <laughs> super old, kind of disgusting foot repair cream. It looks like there's like a tiny bit left, but I can't get anything out. I used this a total of nine times. It was super old, super liquidy, and it didn't really have much of a scent anymore. <laughs> so I'm glad it's gone. Like I have nine uses. All nine of those uses was an application for me and for Madeline because we take our foot baths together because she likes to take the foot baths with me. So we would use the bath salts that I have further down in this project and then we would finish it off with this and nine uses and it is an empty and just throw it on the floor because I'm gonna throw it away after this well actually no it has to go into my empties bin whatever next I have my hemp's mashups pomegranate tart and creamy lotion that is where I'm at after 15 uses my goal is to finish this I mean I don't want to say it's impossible because it's November and we have till April, so there's like five more months, but not likely. But at least I'm using it, so. I am like not the most consistent or best lotion user, so any use is good use in my book. Next, this one is not quite done. I can still get a little bit out, but I mean like two more uses and I think it will be done. I have this little Aveeno moisturizing lotion. I use this as a hand cream. I've got... I've got a total of 16 uses on it. I I really have to shake it to get product out. So I think like two more uses and this will be done. So this will be an empty for next time, but not quite there yet. Then I also have this Sweet and Shimmer Frosted Coconut Hand Cream. I've only used this twice, mainly because I've been focusing on the Aveeno one when I do use my hand creams, but I just, this one is easier to use if I'm like in a hurry because I don't have to shake it because it's pretty full. So there's that. Hopefully... I really need to be better about like using hand lotion just because my hands are so super dry and I don't want them to get cracked like they usually do. So I'm going to make it a priority to try to lotion my hands at least once a day with any of the <laughs> several lotions I have in various projects and get more use on lotions and maybe my hands will not like be baked as the Arizona desert. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Sparkling Dew Body Wash. I've only used it three times, so I'm only down to there. It was brand new when I started using it. I have another empty is my Bath & Body Works Pear Blossom Shower Gel. I used this a total of 35 times, which is about par for the course 
between between 30 and 40 uses is what I get out of these depending on like how much I'm using if Madeline uses some as well blah 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 but it was a really nice scent I wish Bath and Body Works was cruelty free but they're not and I'm very happy to be down to like my final few body washes from Bath and Body Works in my collection so that one is done then I, I obviously threw this out because I can't find it but I had a Tree Hut Margarita Citron Sugar Scrub. I used that a total of nine times and that one is empty. So that's another one gone. Then I have my Macadamia Professionals Hair Mask. I've got a total of 15 uses on this. It was brand new when I started it. And this is how much is left. It's kind of hard to tell because of the way the packaging is. Let me try to estimate. I'm, whoops about down here, which looks like half, but because it curves inward, there's less than half of the amount of product left. This will still take me several months because I use this maybe once a week. And I don't, especially now that my hair is cut, I don't need to use as much, but it will be done before the end of the project. I'm not worried about that one at all. Then I have one declutter. I'm not replacing it with anything because I just don't, I don't feel the need to. I just don't want to. This teak, what is this? This curl-esque TG catwalk. I don't even know what the name, what brand this is, whatever. I used it once and it was fine. And then I didn't use it for a while and I used it again. Mm. It like separated. I'm not, should I show you? It's disgusting. Make sure I have my garbage bag in front of me. It's, it's supposed to be a mousse cream thing. Yeah, that, that looks like something, not mousse though. So this is just going straight in the garbage. We're done with that. So I have one declutter, but that's fine. Then the bath salts. I don't like the way these smell, but I wanna get, I wanna get rid of them. I've got three more uses. I've got eight uses on them, so. We really didn't do many foot baths in the summertime. In the wintertime, I like taking foot baths more. So hopefully I'll get more uses on these, but that's how much progress I've made on that. I finished this BioClarity Exfoliating Enzyme Jelly Cleanser. This one took me 11 uses. I actually kind of really liked it. It was, it was very like fresh and almost like that Bath and Body Works cucumber melon scent, but maybe not maybe a hit more cucumber, but if made my face feel really clean, I need to like write this down because when I get through the plethora of backup cleansers that I've got, I might consider purchasing this one because I really did like it, but that one is empty for now. Then I have another empty. This is the Acure Ultra Hydrating 12 Hour Facial Moisturizer. I got 20 uses out of this little this little pack. I mean, I, it was fine. Not fine enough to where I feel the need to like go out and buy it. I have other stuff that I like better, so I'm not, it's nice to try, but. Then I have my Mario Badescu Chamomile Night Cream. This stuff, this is after 157 uses. This is how much, I mean, I've used up, I don't weigh things, but I've probably used up a little more than half of it. I've got a long ways to go with this one still, cause it's very, it's very hydrating. So like maybe now in the winter time, I'll use a bit more. I'll use like this much, <laughs> but yeah, that much versus this product, which has one ounce, that is a not, going to be gone quickly and that's okay I really do like this night cream so we've got that then the I've been using this as my part of my morning routine morning moisturizer the peach and lily matcha pudding antioxidant cream I've got 73 uses on this one and this is where we're sitting at um I probably finished about half of this one as well I really I'm liking it 
I pair it with my number seven Lift and Luminate for the SPF in that one. But I, I haven't had any issues with this. I like it. I really like the Peach and Lily brand. So once I get through, again, my plethora of moisturizers, I would repurchase this one. Speaking of things I would like to repurchase, but is this Ulta Beauty Infused Beauty Cream Mask with Lemongrass Extract. I've used this five times. This mask is so nice. And guess what? Ulta Beauty discontinued it because I can't find it on their website. It's just got a lovely, clean, fresh scent. It's very soothing and like it's a cream mask. It's supposed to be moisturizing and it's so nice and they don't carry it anymore. I'm, I'm a little salty about that. Then this one is not done, but it should be done by next month. I really don't like this one. This is the Essence Hello Good Stuff face mask. It's one of those like really weird jelly ones where you leave on for like two minutes and then wash it off. And it's supposed to be calming and regenerating. It stings my skin a little, like it kind of burns a little bit. So it's not calming at all. It doesn't like break me out or anything, but it's when I think calming, I think, I think cooling or I mean, basically cooling. <laughs> it does not feel like that. So I've got four more uses on this. I've got 12 total uses. I've probably got like three or four more uses and then this will be gone and I will be, I'll be happy. I mean, this is, was cheap. So Theoretically, I could just like toss it, but I don't want to. I don't like doing that unless things really, really don't work or they're like super expired like that hair mousse. So I'm going to plow through it and just get her done. So that's all this like skincare stuff. The rest of the stuff is more, more makeup beauty stuff. I have my Indigo Bananas Cuticle Balm in Peppermint. I've got seven more uses. So I've got 21 uses on it. And this is what it's looking like. I honestly don't remember <laughs> what my goal was for this. It was either pan or finish. So I guess it depends on where I'm at at the finale. If I've got pan, that was my goal. If I finished it, that was my goal. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of fly by the seat of our pants with that one. I have three mini nail polishes in this project, but I have not used them at all since I last updated. So I'm not going to show those. I have this Nest Bamboo and Jasmine Body Mist. I have a 50 use goal on it. I've got a total of 14 uses on it. So got quite a ways to go with that one. This little Glossier Mint Balm.com, this is taking forever. Like this was maybe halfway full when I brought it in and I've got, let's see, 48 plus seven. I've got 55 more uses on this and I still have product in here. <laughs> This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna. This is gonna be my focus. Nighttime. Nighttime lip balm until it is gone because there's really not that much left, and I just wanna just wanna get it out. Then I have where did it go? I have this Essence Lime Crush. Whoops, lip balm. I've only used it three more times in the past three months because I've been focusing on other lip balms. I've got 14 uses on it. My goal is to finish it. I. Could not make a new mark for it so I'm not even bother. Then for the lipstick that I'm wearing today I have my Colored Rain Safari Rain lipstick in Queendom. Oops, I'm holding my little. I want to use a quarter of the bullet so this is whoops let's do this a little bit better. This is what it looks like and I have got four more uses on it for a total of 14 but it did make a little bit of movement so here's my tracker for that you can hopefully focus see that tiny green line right there that's how much I used up <laughs> since my last update I think I'll hit my goal I just I'm working on a lot of lip products I'm working on a lot of everything so it is what it is next I have the elf electric mood and Tiana major 9 priming serum my goal is to finish this I've got 22 uses on it I cannot I don't know where I am in this you can't see through the packaging I tried like shining my flashlight from my phone down in here and it's just really, it's just too hard to see. Am I going to finish it? I don't know. I hope I can, but again, I'm working on a ton of primers too. So 
we'll see. But it, it's really nice. I like it. I believe it was limited edition, so I don't think you can buy it anymore. But it's a nice, it's a nice primer. Then I have my Too Faced Natural Lust bronzer. There's a little bit of green on the peacock feathers. That's why it's in here. And I have a 50 use goal on this and I've used it 12 times. So there's that. I don't know that it looks any different from the beginning of the project, but I did of like the makeup things. I took a picture at the very beginning and I will just, I'm just going to share progress photos at the finale because I don't have time to fool around with editing a billion photos. So that's why I do it that way. In case you were wondering, you probably weren't, but now you know. Then I have the Juvia's Place Serafina Blush. It's got the nice neon green on the packaging. Again, a 50 use goal. I've only used it one more time for a total of eight. Working on a lot of blushes, people, and bronzers, and highlighters. So I just don't know when to stop. <laughs> I keep adding more and more projects, but then I have, now this one I don't think I'm going to hit my goal on, but you know, we still have some time. This is like a, this is a blush. It's more, it looks more like a bronzer or I, I have used it as an eyeshadow a couple times. This is from Ofra. It's in the shade Rendezvous. I've got a total of four uses out of 50, so I need to get crack a lacking on that one. Then I have... This Pixie Blush Duo in Peach Honey. It says it's a blush duo, but I use this as a highlighter. Like, that's not, that's not a blush. <laughs> and this is definitely not a blush. I use these mixed together, actually. So, that's the highlighter right here is them mixed together. That's what I'm actually wearing as my highlighter today. And I've got seven out of 50 uses on it not doing so hot with the makeup section <laughs> the skincare and stuff like i'm doing really well on all that stuff the makeup section not so much then i have this mark jacobs omega glaze in the shade guilty the cherry one i still i like one of the few products that i keep this for because it has the cherries on it it's so cute this is what it looks like i've used it five times Total, not since the last update, five total out of 50. That the eye products, like the eyeliner products and stuff, I'm, I'm doing better with. I have the JD Glow Multi Chrome Eyeliner in Translate, and of course this was laying on its side, so now I can't, there, I can kind of see. My goal is just 50 uses, and I've got 13 so far, and I'm already down to like here. So I don't think it'll be completely finished up with the 50 uses, but it'll have a lot of use in it. And that's, I'm happy about that because stuff like this doesn't tend to like stay good for as long. This is the eyeliner that I'm wearing. I don't know if you'll be able to see the shift from like, how can I turn my head so you can see the shift? You can kind of see the purple right there. And then you can see it's green and then purple and it's really pretty and I like it a lot. Then we have my Pixie Opal Overcoat Eyeliner. It is getting really tiny and it was already pretty small when I brought it in. I have used this one a total of 54 times. I mainly use this in my lower water well not mainly I only use this in my lower water line and because it's been so long since I updated this one has a pretty big jump so oops, it's this one right here so this green is all the progress I've made on it in the past three months which not too shabby this will still take a couple more months to finish up but I'm I'm not worried about that one being done at all then I have then I have this julep eyeliner in emerald shimmer this is what this is what I'm wearing in my lower waterline today I made some progress on it not quite as much as the pixie one but I've got total of 22 uses on it so that is where I'm at with this one 
And then the last item I'm working on so far is my AOA Studios eyeliner pen in the shade green. I am wearing it today even though you can't, like I put it down as a base for the JD Glow one so you can't really see it, but I'm wearing it today. And I have 26 uses on this so far. And it's, I'm not sure like how much to expect out of this, like life-wise, I guess is the best way to say it because I've never used up an eyeliner from AOA Studios, which is the Shop Miss A brand, so this is a dollar. But, you know, I'm happy with 26 uses so far for just a dollar, and it is way better than the green eyeliner that I was using from ColourPop that I decluttered because it was so, so awful. So I actually really like this, and I would probably buy it again. And we're going to see how long, how many uses it takes before it dries out. It's still going strong. So as of my last update, I had 39 products that I was still working on. So I've decluttered one and I finished six more. So that's seven. So I'm down to 32 projects. So I'm down to 32 products left in this project, which not the best considering we're more than halfway done, but I am not mad at it either. So hopefully I can be a little more consistent with my updates for this project. It's just the past couple of months, every time I thought about sitting down to film this, like something was coming up where I needed to do that thing right away. And then by the time I finally had time, it was like a couple days past and I had other updates that I needed to do. So this one just kind of kept getting pushed to the back burner, but I'm like, I have to do it. <laughs> It's been too long. So that is it for me today. I went through it as fast as I could and this is still going to be over 20 minutes long and I'm sorry. So if you, if you <laughs> stayed for the entire video, leave me a little green heart down in the comments and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. You're staying safe and sane and healthy and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.